Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I have an introduction to a new project. I, I want you guys to help me if you think that I'm not doing it the best way possible. And this is going to be a blush project. You guys know that I love blush so much and I've tried a uh, different type of blush project in the past, but it didn't work because I started neglecting my collection. I have over 200 pans of blushes within my collection, whether they are on face palettes, or depotted, or as singles from different brands. And I adore blush so much that I wanna show it more on my channel. And one of the things that I noticed last year is that you guys have been loving and new people have been coming into my channel because I did the swatching videos for the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer blushes and then for the Laura Mercier powder blushes and also for the Rare Beauty blushes and I swatched them all on my face. That is one of the things that I wanna bring back maybe once a month on this channel. If you wanna see sort of my rules and what this blush project is gonna be about, it's about using more of my blush collection, but if you wanna see how it works, then just Keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so the goal is to use my overall blush collection. Like I said, I have more than 200 blushes and what I did is I placed them on the Tiny Decisions app. And this blush project is gonna have four sections, I think. The first one is that I'm gonna randomize five blushes monthly and I'll be using those blushes. I don't mind if it's only ones that I'm using them. I just wanna make sure that I use them and incorporate them to my routine. And that way I will have blushes in my everyday makeup routine that I usually don't pick up on my own. Maybe some of those are gonna be favorites of mine because I love my blush collection, but I know a lot of them, I wouldn't just go and choose that specific blush. And since blush is my favorite category of makeup, I love picking up a blush and then basing my look on that blush. Each month on each update, I will talk about the blushes that I chose, what I feel about them, and then I will randomize other five blushes to incorporate to that month. I don't wanna set a goal of using them five times or whatnot because if I have 200 blushes, I'm not gonna be able to use all of my collection if I start to put usage goal on each of the blushes on top of the blushes that I have on my face palette projects that I already have to finish and my plan to pan products in which I have about four blushes. I also want to show you on each update a favorite blush combo that I created. I want to show you up to three but if I can show more I will and the way that I will do that is that for example today I created my look and I will talk to you guys about the blush combo that I did so that you can see that I don't use one blush for every makeup application. I usually use two or three blushes. Then what I also want you to see, is see them in action, see them on my face. So I'm gonna do that in format of stories and then I can incorporate them on my video. Or if I'm filming the day that I'm wearing that blush combo, I will set aside a space to just show you the blush and then show you the palettes or the blushes that I used when I did that blush application. Another goal that I have for this project is that I think I could declutter five blushes from my collection. I don't know which ones are gonna be decluttered yet, but even though I have over 200 blushes, I love them all. I love them all so much, but I know I have a few that I will never reach for on my own and that it would be better for me to find them homes at my sister's-in-law makeup collection or my mom's makeup collection. And then also I want you guys to vote for an, a specific theme of blush swatches that I will do as I did the Laura Mercier ones and the Rare Beauty ones. So either a brand that you will mention in the comment section below or a color scheme that you will mention in the comment section below. So for example, you guys will say your top five new blushes, we wanna see them swatch on your face. And then I will shop my stash for them in my collection and then create a separate video showing you and doing those uh, swatches because I know you guys love to see them in action on my face. But you can say anything, like every NARS pink blush that you own, your Tarte collection of blushes. It's not gonna matter, you guys, if it's limited edition products. I just wanna make sure that I reach for my collection and limited edition makeup that I own, it's makeup that I bought and makeup that I own, so I wanna use it. It's not for the sake of me showing you the blushes that you can purchase, it's for the sake of shopping my stash for my blushes. And then if you have them in your collection and they were limited edition, you can pull them back out 
And if you don't have them, you can find inspiration or dupes in, within your collection. Or if they're available, you can just shop for them. And then uh, if you have a similar skin tone than mine, knowing how they will look on your face or on your skin tone and then get them for yourself. And then also on every update, I will give you a list or I will talk to you guys about every single blush that I use during the month. I already have four blushes written down that are the blushes that I've used so far this year. And today is January 4th and I've used four products. Three of those are face palettes. So I've switched it up between blushes that I have uh, on the different uh, palettes and I've created different makeup applications. So that's it for this blush project. Now let's just go ahead and randomize the five blushes for the month of January. And remember to vote on which blush swatching video you would like to see next. And I will choose the theme that uh, calls my name the most. Or maybe what I will do is I will give you five themes so that you can vote which one you would like to see next month. And that way I can start to film that two weeks after I post this video. Because what I wanna uh, do is let this video run its course and then to give you guys the chance to vote on the comment section below and then I can start to film it. Let's just randomize the blushes that I'm gonna be showing you this month and then just to start for the sake of it, I'm gonna show you uh, which products I use for this blush combo. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna randomize the blushes. I'm gonna reset the wheel and I'm gonna randomize the blushes and the amount that I have right here on this blush collection are 222 options. Let's just see which five come out. I have Estilla Peony, which is a cream blush. Not that excited about it. Tarte Unstoppable, which is a mini blush that was in a holiday set. Laura Mercier Peach, which is a beautiful blush. Nars Sex Fantasy, which I have in a face palette and I also have in a single, and it's beautiful and pastel. And then I have Hourglass Radiant Magenta, which is one of those blushes that I have in my collection that I don't know why I don't reach for it, but I never do. So I'm gonna pull those out from my collection and show them to you guys. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna show you the blushes and I think a few of them you can still get. Uh, the ones that I don't know if you can get are Sex Fantasy and I know that you can't get uh, Tarte Unstoppable, but I think Peach, Radiant Magenta and Peony from Stila, you can get them. I'm gonna just now do close-ups of them uh, so you guys can see them. So one that I chose is Hourglass Radiant Magenta and this is beautiful and I bought it uh, years ago, but this has, hasn't been used and abused in my collection. Now that I love pink blushes I think it would be the perfect time to use it but even though I love Hourglass uh, in general I never wear the blushes from Hourglass that I own and I don't know if it's the color of the blushes that I got but it's just something that I never reach for. Peach from Laura Mercier it's another one and it's one of my favorites. This one has a sheen to it. It's just one of the more wearable ones that they have and it's completely different to Radiant Magenta since this is a real peach color. So you can see the contrast, but both would look beautiful with this uh, top that I'm wearing right now. Uh, Unstoppable, it's a nudie tone from Tarte and it's a smaller one. I've worn this before and this is one of the easiest ones to use because it's just one of those blushes that you can wear no matter what. It's a neutral type of blush. Sex Fantasy, it's a pastel blush. It's not one of those easy to use type of products. And I love it and I used to use it more, but now I don't wear this type of blushes. This is sort of like a lilac-y tone. I know I can wear it and I know it can be sort of like a blush transition. I can maybe even mix it with other blushes but I wanna make sure that I love it enough to keep it in my collection. Even though for me, the cluttering up NARS blush is just blasphemy, you guys. And then Estilla Peony, it's one of those that I've used before and I've used a ton, but um, I stopped using them. And this is so, so pretty, so neutral. You can see it right there, full swatch. And then you, of course, can blend it out. This is a heavy swatch, so you're not gonna see it blended that well, but you can see that this is the perfect everyday blush. And then you guys, to finish this video, the combo that I'm wearing on my cheeks today 
it's a super pretty combo and I wanted to show it to you because this is going to be one of the ways in which I'm going to start tackling my face palette um, blushes. What I used first was the Glow Cream Base from the Natasha Denona Love and Glow Palette and then as a blush on this part of my cheek, like right here, I used the Super Glow as a blush which is so pretty and you can see that these two have more color they're not like the other super glows that i've used that they are more of a you can see right here that they're more of a sheer type of color these the the cream glow base you can see it right there the cream glow base and the super glow they're blushes on me they will never be just like a cream highlighter and a highlighter they're too glowy for that and then what I did on top of that was that in the apples of my cheeks, I went in with Coralista, which is one that I'm trying to hit piano on. And I buffed everything with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders, which are these two that I'm trying to hit piano on during this Pan Panda Face Palette Project Pan and for my next update. So that's the combo of blushes that I'm wearing today. You can see that I wore three blushes at a time and from two different palettes, and then I finished it with another face palette, and that's the way that I do my makeup every single day because I love to shop my stash and play with makeup. And then you guys, I'm gonna leave this in the comment section below, but the three choices that I'm giving you to vote for my next type of uh, blush swatching video. It's my top 10 nude blushes, my Tarte blush collection, and my NARS pink blushes. So if you want to see any of these, please vote in the comments that I will leave pinned in the comment section below. That's it for my blush project, you guys. I think this is going to be so much fun. Remember that the blush swatching videos are going to be a separate video from this, but I will mention them in every single update that I do but these are gonna be videos the blush swatching videos I'm gonna do one each month as the blush project I'm gonna update it once a month that's it you guys I love you don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and if you're a blush lover please leave an emoji with your favorite blush color and your favorite blush in the entire universe one blush that you couldn't part with I love you guys and I guess I'll see you on the next one bye bye